on a foggy winter's morning like something out of the Hound of the Baskervilles. I'm at Wokingham Motorhomes looking at the very latest from Rapido, their new C-Series. A compact range of low profiles starting at under six metres long in the case of this C56. There's actually three models in the range, this French bed layout, a twin bed model and an island bed as well, but the other two are a little bit longer. What they all share is this narrow bodywork, just 2.17 metres wide. And they look like proper rapidos. Flush framed windows, aluminium skirts, all the sort of styling and design and features you'd expect of Rapido as quite an upmarket brand. There's a new design to the rear end too. And a bigger overcab sunroof that's glass rather than plastic. So lots of features to like about this vehicle. The habitation door's got central locking as well. Now before we go inside and I show you the layout of this van, just wanted to pick up on one little external detail. Of course with the French bed being quite low, you haven't got a full size garage, but you have still got good external storage. <clears throat> Decent sized hatch to get your outdoor chairs, barbecue and so on in. And then just inside the door is the gas locker. That only holds one cylinder because all your heating is either mains electric or diesel and your compressor fridge, that doesn't use gas either. So you only need gas for cooking. Right, I think it's important to start off by saying that this little motorhome is pretty much standard spec. Two options are fitted, there's an upgraded upholstery here, this is called Manchester, and the top lockers are normally in a matte finish, you pay extra if you want the gloss that you see here. The other thing that's fitted on this test vehicle is the select pack, but that's one of those packs that, okay, it's optional, but in reality you're never likely to see a Rapido without it. The select pack includes, and I'll grab my crib sheet, it includes rear view camera, DAB multimedia screen in the dash there, cruise control, special motorhome ESC with anti-slip regulation, rollover mitigation and hill holder, electric mirrors, height adjustable cab seats, the blinds, the Remis blinds around the cab, living area door with two point locking and the fixed window, a second keyless entry control and a second living area battery. So you get three and a half grand's worth of kit basically for just under £1,800. Nobody's going to forego that. But what you do get is a very nicely specced and well finished little motorhome. And this living area has the typical Rapido fold in half table. So you've got plenty of dining space when you need it or a more cosy two-person coffee table, snack table the rest of the time. And of course it does the usual twisting and sliding and all the, the usual. So it, it's never really in the way. It's a, a, a good size for a compact van like this. Easy to get four people around the table too. You've got this L-shape arrangement and the two swivel cab seats, of course. And then this little flip up jump seat by the door. Now you might not want to sit there for very long but it does give you a fifth place at the table and more importantly somewhere to put your feet up. And there are other nice little details too. I like the Art Deco style reading light. Love this big overcab sunroof. Reading lights in the cab. How often are those missed out? Coat hooks by the door too. Another practical touch. Now in a six metre motorhome with a fixed bed you're never going to get a kitchen to please Nigella Lawson but what they have packed into this space isn't bad. You've got this rather trendy looking can cooker, just two burners but they are different size rings, stainless steel sink alongside and you have got then a little bit of worktop just here for your kettle or your toaster because there's a mains point there little recess in this glossy splashback but my uh, bottle of washing up liquid wouldn't fit in there so I'm not quite sure what you keep in there but you've got a little strapped shelf here so you can keep your condiments perhaps in there and they won't fly out when you go around the first corner. 
the fridge is a 90 litre compressor model so that just runs off electricity but remember you have got two leisure batteries there down here under the bed then Rapido has always been very good at fitting ovens for for the UK market so here again you've got proper oven and grill and it's not mounted up in the ceiling it's at a sensible practical height two drawers too and they're centrally locked and unlocked with just a switch top one is for your cutlery bottom one perhaps for a few plates or bowls and you've got a little recess here as well and even a hook for your tea towel but my favorite feature of the kitchen is actually over on the other side where you've got a pull-out pantry unit for all your packeted foods tins and so on and then finally if you're thinking worktop is a little sparse well of course you've got the table close by but you've also got this slot in panel which just goes in there French bed layouts like this went a little bit out of fashion as island beds became more and more popular but of course you can't get an island bed into a motorhome that's only six meters long so this is the compromise and usually French beds always had this chopped off corner which you really need in order to be able to get the washroom door nice and wide open to get in there however do you really want to sleep on this side of the bed and potentially have your leg hanging out of the bed, uh, out of the duvet, in the cold, in the fresh air? No, you don't really want that. So Rapido have come up with a rather neat solution. You pull out this panel here, leg drops down to support that, and then this cheese-shaped cushion goes on and it zips attached so that it's not going to fly off in the night and drop on the floor. And now you have a bed that's 1.99 meters long, best part of two meters, lovely big length, length to, to the bed, and 1.30 meters wide. It's actually fractionally wider at the head, but it doesn't narrow to the degree that you normally expect of a French bed. Now, with that in place, of course, washroom access is restricted, but I can still get in and out with a little bit of a squeeze, so that's okay just for the occasional nighttime tinkle and when you're in bed you've got a speaker for the radio you've got his and hers reading lights and it's a very comfortable place to be and although the wardrobe does sit over the foot of the bed it really doesn't get in the way wardrobe well it's not the biggest um, but it has room for quite a few shirts and shorter items also at the foot of the bed is a pull out TV bracket and that will face either the lounge or the bedroom so that is quite well placed. In a French bed layout the width of the van and remember this is a narrow bodied van is shared between the washroom here and the bed alongside but somehow they seem to have managed in this motorhome not to make the washroom feel too cramped. You've got loads of shoulder room sitting on this bench cassette toilet and even more room in terms of leg space so you really can sit on the throne comfortably. A decent amount of worktop and a little glass for your uh, toothbrushes, mirrors above the basin as well. It's all quite nicely planned and these little shelves with fiddle rails so everything doesn't fall out. When you come to showering though that is perhaps the best bit because you don't need a shower curtain. You have one bifold door cover the loo and a second one unfold and complete the cubicle and above you you've got a roof vent for ventilation and a little pull down rail for drying any wet stuff. Being a compact little van you might expect this to be just a two berth but the C56 has another trick up its sleeve and why not when you've got four travel seats and quite good ones with these adjustable height headrests. So let's convert the lounge into a bed.
two extra cushions that you retrieve from the underbed locker. That one has a, a leg on it. Kitchen worktop panel does double duty at half height. Not the quickest bed to make, but if you've got a child, a grandchild, an extra person you want to carry occasionally, maybe even two little ones, this does make the C56 a bit more usable. And this is so much better than some of the lounge beds we've seen. Okay, not as good as a drop down, but a lot better than we've seen elsewhere. Truly compact in both length and width, but very well appointed. This is the sort of little motorhome that makes you think about what do you really need? Well, do you need anything bigger? Do you need that seven and a half meter motorhome that's gonna be so much more difficult to park, to turn around when you go the wrong way and can't find that campsite? Or would you be better with something much more maneuverable like this? If you're downsizing, this could be ideal. But it might also make you think about whether you want a van conversion or whether just that little bit of extra width and the flat sides and the extra space that gives you within might be a better bet. <laughs>